Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel that likes to try anything, so you don't have to. Excitedly, I've, I've got something really, something I'm really looking forward to reviewing today. And it's something that I've been sent along from a company called Devoom International. And what it is, is the D2 Pixel Art Bluetooth portable speaker. Now the reason why I'm excited about it is because it's something I've seen on YouTube uh, by fellow YouTubians, as I like to call them. And what it, what it is, is it's a it's it's something that's a very retro inspired piece of technology. Um, it also has pixel art built into it, and plus it does music as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you an unboxing of it, um, as it were in the packaging. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to talk about the actual design of it. Um, I'm going to go through the features of it, and then what I'm going to do is kind of summarise my thoughts of what it's like to use, uh, what the sounds like, because obviously it's more more than just pixel art. It is obviously it's got another feature which is its Bluetooth speaker and its music capabilities. And also just to just to go through and tell you what I think. When you do actually unbox it from the cardboard box that they send it in, um, which is well packaged with uh, bubble bubble wrap and uh, another kind of a plastic covering to it, you do get two items within the box, which is this real nice little additional touch, which is this kind of, uh, you know, like a, a, a gift bag as it were, which you can hose this um, thing into, which is really, really good. And as I say, for an unboxing experience, if you was given this as a gift to someone that, you know, like for a birthday or Christmas present, it's just something, it's just that little, it just adds that little additional touch to it really. So you could wrap this up and it comes in its own like kind of gift bag really. So just to quickly go through, um, what I'll do is it's on the side of the actual box you've got here on the actual gift bag. You've got what it what the actual uh, Ditu has really, which is a a ten watt uh, tune driver. It's got three hundred and sixty sound, sorry degrees sound, internet radio stations, um, two hundred fifty six programmable LED, um, which obviously is the the main part of this, which you'll find you know, which I found really nice. It's got eight bits pixel art creation, uh, an online community, which it just blows me away when the amount of stuff that you can download to this thing. And it's also got an online pixel art gallery. So that's just really, in a nutshell, what this thing has and can do and stuff like that, really. So just taking it out of the box and just getting to the actual meat and potatoes of it all. Here, here it is in, in its entirety, as it were. Now, people do refer to it saying it looks like a bit of a chiller cabin, <laughs> which I can, I can understand it does. Um, but it's a, it's nice in the way that you actually get something that's quite sturdy. It's part of the experience, and it's quite Apple-esque in the way you know you you kind of have this thing delivered to you. So just to kind of again just round the back, you've got all the what the Devoom D2 can can do, and also you get this um, QR code which if you scan uh, with your kind of camera app or a QR app on Android, camera app on um, iOS, will take you off to the App Store to download the actual Devoom app, which is what kind of controls the whole screen experiences, you know, like you, you got more of an expanded experience with that app. So no further ado, let's just start um, opening the packaging. So just pop that open like that. And here it is, here's the main thing. Um, so I, it comes out like such. Now, just to make you aware, I have actually unpackaged this before, um, just to, Kind of just get an idea of what this thing can do and stuff. So if you do see these kind of cellophane just kind of peeling off a little, that's just for that reason. I've just put it back on just to show you the experience. So just moving that out of the way to the, the right a touch. Um, just to show you what you get in the package as well. What you get is you, you get the stickers, which is part of the whole kind of Devoom experience. So, you know, these can be, you know, popped anywhere. You know, obviously you can stick them around the house or give them to your kids and stuff like that. Or wh whoever's got them as a present, you know, they can do with whatever they will. And it is the main theme of what this whole speaker uh, Bluetooth thing is, which I absolutely love really. But um, there you go. So you get the speaker uh, stickers. Uh, obviously you get a cheeky you Ditu, Ditu manual which is here, which has got all the elements that you need to know to fire it up, to get it going, um, to, to be able to use it and stuff like that, which is, you know, obviously nowadays a lot of things don't really come with manuals because you do have to kind of download it online. So, it's, you know, you get that as well. And I'll pop that back in there. 
QC pass sticker, obviously it's passed with the QC or the quality control. And also you get a USB-C um, cable within the actual box as well. Now obviously I've opened it because I've been using it to charge the actual item. But you know, it, it is braided, it's quality, you know, like it's not like a usual kind of cheap sort of stuff really. So it's a nice like a little um, addition. I mean, obviously you don't get an, uh, an adapter really, like a power, power adapter to charge it. You know, I'm, I would imagine like a lot of companies like Apple and Samsung and stuff, they are kind of just supplying the cables and just assuming that you have the power brick to power it really. Because a lot of things, you know, a couple of years ago used to come with power bricks and stuff like that. So they're assuming everyone's got one. So, you know, that's a, that's a little added touch to it really. And as I say, I have used it to charge this up. So that's the reason why it was open. But there you go, that's the whole experience um, of unboxing it out of the way. Right then, so straight to the actual review of the speaker itself, and let's look, have a quick look around it, see what it's like. Now I'll just take, I'll just peel off these things here, which obviously came off because I've already done it, but just to show you on camera what, you know, what, what you need to do, just to take all that off. And just off the screen there, so it's just nicely done there. And as you can see straight from the off, it's such a, a nice classical design, really. I mean, it just reminds me of the kind of computers and, uh, you know, from the, the kind of 70s upwards, really. It's got that nice, cool retro feel to it, which I absolutely love. Um, you've got on the back, just to show you, so fr from, from the off, you've got the speaker on the top, the speaker grill here. You've got kind of a, a bass area here, which does kick out a bit of bass, really, which is nice. And especially when it gets loud, it, it hasn't, uh, when I tried it, it didn't distort as much, but I'll show you on camera when it goes loud. Um, to the side, you have got, um, you've also got kind of, uh, just to show you, you've got the a micro SD slot here, uh, the on and off button. And you've also got the USB-C charging port here. But the, the little handy thing is you, you've also got, as I say, the micro SD slot here. If you didn't want to use your phone with it really, so you could put some music on there and let it just play. Turn to the front, which is where, you know, the main area is. Um, you've got here, the, obviously the main screen. And just to quickly comment on the colors really, I mean, it does come in an assortment of colors. You've got like blacks, reds, like greens and stuff like that. But what I like about this one, you've got that kind of baby blue color with cream. And it's just, you know, like an accent color of a, a, an orange really. It's just a nice look to it really. And it just adds to that kind of cool retro design element to it, which I really, really like. And um, it, it's, it is the thing that kind of, you know, hits you straight away how good this thing looks. And especially the size of it. And the other thing I haven't talked about is the actual weight of it. I mean, it's not like a, like some of the Bluetooth speakers I have got, which are, you know, quite light and stuff like that. But for this here, you know, it does have a, a nice solid construction to it. It's nice and glossy. And as I say, it does have a nice quality weight to it, which really adds to the appeal of this thing. So just to fire it up, um, the first thing you will spot when you fire it up, it, obviously, is that screen. Now that screen there is just unbelievable. I mean, it's all made up of intricate, I mean, obviously it's looking for my, um, so it, it, in the screen, I'll just put it on the demo just to give you an idea so you can see how it all looks from the off. I mean, that screen is just unbelievable. I mean, obviously, as I said, it's all using um, LEDs as opposed to an LCD screen. And each LED, I mean, it's a 16 by 16 amount of LEDs. And each LED combines together to make it like what would be a pixel art kind of look. And if I just zoom into the screen, you can just kind of get an idea of just how crazy it is really. Just as I say, for a, like a Bluetooth speaker to have this element to it, I just absolutely adore. I, it just appeals to every part of my graphic designer, pixel art loving, retro kind of thing really. And it just adds that, just that element of just coolness to the actual item. So just moving away from the screen, I'm just gonna show you the keys. And as you can see, I'm turning it on. The keys are backlit for one, which is great. And um, just to quickly cycle through what each of the keys do, uh, that's obviously your mode key, which goes through all the modes that this thing can do, which is, I'll just quickly show you in a second, obviously plus and minus, um, bit volume and stuff like that. That's kind of, I find that's kind of brightness or not so much brightness, but kind of it does demo buttons and stuff like that. And that's obviously left and right choosing which, uh, you know, like which option you want to choose. And that allows you to kind of confirm that or choose the option that you're currently on. So if I just quickly show you the modes, just to go through them. Um, here you go, just line it up. So if I just tap on uh, the M, 
So straight away you're taken to the games. It, first of all, it has games on here, which is great. And you know, for that added little thing as a, a Bluetooth speaker, you don't expect these sort of things um, with any kind of Bluetooth speaker other than this one here, which I, I just think is brilliant. And I'll be honest with you, that screen just wowed me from the off. Um, so if I just tap on M, straight away, if I just pull down on the uh, lever here, you've got games like uh, Tetris, you've got kind of, um, like a dice game, eight ball, you know, where you, you shake an eight ball and it answers many of the questions in life that you need to know. Uh, you got Breakout as well, and uh, I don't know, you got Snake and all sorts of things here. So I'll just quickly show you, uh, I'll show you Breakout really. So I just pull down on the lever and there you go. It is just such a simplistic game using the actual LEDs and the sound that you get. And uh, yeah. It's just something you know you, you wouldn't get from a, n a normal Bluetooth speaker really and that's what I absolutely adore about this thing. So you know obviously the game will speed up and stuff like that but you know I could I could play this for hours <laughs> to be fair it's such a bit of fun really. So back to the modes really so that's the games Um, you got a kind of you could do kind of pixel art as it were on the actual system and uh, you know like I could just colouring stuff so you get the E and stuff like that so it is quite basic and it's quite restrictive but it, the, the, the app which I'll show you in a bit does does a lot more than that so back to mode again you've got tools here which are quite interesting so obviously you've got like a, a timer function or a, as it were a stopwatch function and if I just go back to tools uh, just to show you what else it does um, uh, well, that could be the actual timer function there. Um, but you also got a decibel meter, so you can just see, you know, as I'm talking about the actual item here, you can see the actual decibels of my voice going up and down. And um, just to talk quietly, and then to talk really loud, you can see the difference here. And this would be great for, you know, like putting in videos and stuff like that, showing you kind of the difference in keyboard sounds and stuff like that. Or even in a music studio, just to, you know, like as a ad nice added touch in the background, if you're doing any videos and stuff like that. So it's a nice touch that, get, having a decibel meter. Um, let's see what else it's got. So I'll just go back to tools, decibel meter. And obviously, you know, what I've said before, you've got like a countdown timer here with the hourglass and stuff like that. And then finally, just you've got obviously timers as well going on here, or you know, all sorts of kind of stopwatches, or uh, well, this would be the alarm timer, as it were, which you can set. So it's kind of like an alarm clock, which is quite good. And um, if I go back, yep, it's very hot indeed. Um, and then also, you've got like from your music. So what you've got here is you can play music via your Bluetooth. And also the SD card. Now, I, I haven't got an SD card and I haven't put an SD card in here, but I would imagine this would be what controls the music and stuff like that. So that's quite a quick view of what the modes are in this thing, which, you know, for again, you just got to remember this is meant to be like a, a Bluetooth speaker here, which just it's just phenomenal, really. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly move that off to the side so you can just see. So I can just show you the app <coughs> and hit controlling the screen really. So what you need to do, if I just fire that up there, you need to download the Devoom app, which if I can just scroll it across to, I'll just go to the actual quick draw. So the Devoom app looks like that, which if you scan the QR codes, it will take you straight to it. And as you can see, I mean, obviously it's, uh, we're heading towards Valentine's. So it just comes, not so much offers, because there's a daily competition it will come up with as well, which is quite interesting. But straight away, you can see some of the things you can do in the Devoo map, um, which, you know, these are images that other people do. And there is, a, as I've mentioned, just when I was showing you the unboxing, there is a massive online community here that kind of shows you all, you know, like you can download all sorts of manner of things to show you to show on screen and stuff like that not so much apps but more animations and stuff like that so if i was to say click on uh iron man straight away there you go it, you know you're controlling the screen with an iron man an animation um also with the chickens which is uh quite apt as we're heading towards easter um but also like for example if you're playing music you can also have icons that just give the uh the actual uh devu ditto a bit of dyn dynamism as the word would be but not only do you have the new items here, you've got characters as well, which, you know, for example, the, you know, some of the popular characters like Superman. And it's just a whole wealth of items and elements here, which it just makes the whole thing just just brilliant, really. And I just really like it for that. And as I say, just appeals visually to me on a massive scale here. So, you know, like 2021, you know, like stuff like this, really. But also you, you can download, uh, I think you can search for stuff like, so if we type in Sonic, 
which is a popular character. Just let it search. So, you know, there you go. You've got people who've also kind of, it's not so much using pixel art to do Sonic and stuff like that. And the one thing I have noticed is, um, you know, that what looks probably the most stunning on here, which is, you know, obviously if you can scale down, you can scan in photos of your face and stuff like that, or put up your own artwork, as it were, and upload it to the community and stuff. If it's something that you, you, you know, you're happy with uploading, um, you know, obviously the simpler, the better. Now, doing the artwork, if I just, um, you'll have to forgive me here. If you go to um, channel and what you can do, I'll quickly show you the artwork in a minute, but while we're on here, what you can do is obviously it can be a kind of a light really. So if you've got a real darkened room, you can change the light, the hue, the saturation of the lighting and stuff like that. And also you can change the clock and also you can change what it features. So you can feature stuff like the weather, uh, temperature, you know, like a, the ambient temperature. And if you've got any kind of calendar items or, or the calendar, so obviously this Thursday, the 28th of January and, um, you know, kind of images or demo images. So you can turn them off and on, and also you can change the clock, how it looks. So you got kind of more analog, um, obviously uh, background digital, analog again, and stuff like that really. And I, I do prefer this one really. So it's got a nice touch. Um, the cloud channel, different gallery themes, uh, you got a visualizer as well, which is really good. Now this is where I might as well start playing a bit of music really. And what I'll do, I'll play the music off YouTube and I'll just keep this visualizer on. But just to quickly show you, you've got different ways in which this thing will react to music really being played through the speaker. And obviously you've got your, your matrix kind of uh, coding scrolling down, uh, the frog, and a different way. Uh, of it kind of reacting to music. So if I just tap on that and then I'll just get some music on and I'll just show you. Right, here's a bit of music and it, the, the beauty of it as well, I'll show you the actual sounds that come out of this and how, how loud it can get really and if you can hear any distortion. And I, I haven't experienced any distortion in how loud I've played it, but you know, let's just uh, see what it's like and obviously see how the screen reacts with the music. So that's it on quite low. So you can affect the sound by or I can just do it via. So that's on kind of real high volume here. So as you can see as a portable speaker, that you know, the sound is really good out of this thing. And especially when you get a kind of bass where you can feel, I can feel the bass on the actual, uh, on the table here, which is, you know, it's a nice indication really. I mean, again, compared to some people who, I'll just pause that now so you can hear me talk. I mean, compared to some people, or some speakers, sorry, which, you know, you, you, you probably, if you pay a lot more, you'll get obviously a more defined sound, but the sound off this thing is really good. I'll just pop that back on demo as well, just to, <laughs> just to move away from that. But as a nice touch, you know, you do get like a visualizer here. So I'll just go back onto the uh, Devu map as it were. So that was on the visualizer part there where you can change the music, or obviously the, how, that, how that reacts to music really, or sorry, how the Devu reacts to music. And also you can do kind of custom things for it to, you know, upload your favorite design so it just works like that as well just to go to other things as well you've got like a discovery where you can do your own designs and stuff like that really and on the discover or sorry the design part of the discovery you can whatever design you do here obviously it's mirrored um, if I just do a quick smiley face and cheeky red lips and obviously you know use the fill function for the background and you got kind of yellow or you've got um, like a manner of colors here and obviously you can just see react to whatever I'm doing and also you can do you can reverse it and mirror it in all sorts here but if I go back to if I exit that um, you can do pixel coloring custom mode task mode and stuff like that, which I haven't really messed with to be fair so uh, the other thing you can do which is something I found really cool is um, what's known as DJ mixing and what this is is part of the app where you can Put your own music on there well not so much your own music but it's kind of loops and stuff like that where you can kind of make your own song so i mean it won't be your next hit but if i turn them off you know it's just a bit of fun really and if i just go to say piano you've got like the piano where you can where you can hear the, you know, make your own kind of tunes and stuff like that. And you can record them so you can be playing them later. Obviously you've got the xylophone section here. Um, you've got a little drumming part. 
And as you can see, the screen does react to it. It bells. You know, symbols and stuff like that. And obviously violins and harps and st and banjo. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> is it banjo or uke ukulele as it were. And then also you've got saxophone, harmonica, flutes. And as I say, you can just mess about to your heart's content, which is such a nice little element of this uh, the D2 spe portable speaker, which you don't get on a lot of things, really. Just to quickly go on, you can also set up a planner so it can act as your kind of uh, daily reminders and stuff like that. Um, you know, like a baby time planner and all sorts of uh, extras and stuff like that. Games, we obviously, I've shown you, which you can control via this as well, as well as the, um, via the app, as well as... Uh, using the keys and what else uh, there's just so much things you can do on this thing um, animation obviously as I've shown you the pixel art and stuff like that um, you got animation and all sorts really um, I mean there's so many miss chat game and also it does um, notifications as well so if you get any kind of text coming in apparently this uh, there you go notifications so um, you know if I wanted to pair this to show any kind of notifications of what's going on from um I, from my iphone like incoming calls and stuff like that it does it can do a whole host of um social media kind of notifications as well as my phone and what have you here so it's really it's really it's really quite mad really for a speaker so obviously i don't use viber and what have you but if i was something like a whatsapp or a missed call or twitter or facebook um instagram and snapchat you know there's quite a few popular ones on there but that 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 in a you know in a nutshell, I mean, there's noise meter which I've shown you, um, and I'm just trying to see what else the weather, which it will show you here of the weather what's going on, and voice commands. You know, you can tell it to increase the brightness and stuff like that. So there's a whole host of stuff on here. But for me, the the real magic is in this screen and obviously in the sound that it produces. And as I say, it doesn't distort as much on high, you know, like, and the bass that comes out of here is just, it, it really is quite good for such a, not, it is a small unit, really. And as I say, it just, just what it can do for the money and, you know, what the extras it can offer um, compared to, say, your conventional Bluetooth speakers are just, just phenomenal, really. So to summarise, I've got to say, this thing is just, it is brilliant. It's such a versatile um, piece of technology, which is great for playing your music, great for like doing stuff like ambient temperature, and it's got a whole host of other kind of features. And in terms of creativity as well, this thing, you know, you can sit down and just mess about with it to your heart's content to get visuals that you might like, or put your own visuals on there. And also you've got a whole community of people that can kind of, you know, add to the experience of this thing. And I just, for that thing alone, I just think it's just brilliant. And I think it retails, it retails between the price of 50 to 70 pound, depending on any discounts and stuff, sorry, Devuma offering at the time. And there is a link to this um, item in the actual uh, description box below, which will take you straight off to the Devoom website. To, so you can just, find out more information about this thing and the thing is with this being it portable i mean you can put it next to your bed obviously it sits well on a shelf because the desi design of it is just phenomenal in the background of a video or if you're a streamer this thing would you know add that extra kind of element of interest to whatever's going on on video and as i say you know for if it for a gift for someone for christmas or for someone for their birthday i mean god i can't imagine anyone not liking this so as you can see, I do really like this item and I think it's well worth the money. And, you know, please, by all means, if you get the chance, look it up and see, have, have a, see what you think yourself. So thank you for watching the video. And as I say, this thing gets a massive double thumbs up because it is really cool. And thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please give it a like in the uh, box below and if you want to see more interesting technology and cars and stuff coming to the channel which are coming to the channel very soon then please click on the subscribe button down below and if you've got any comments or if you do own one of these or you, you want to find out a little bit more about the Devoon D2 then please ask any questions you might have in the comments section below I do read all the comments and if I can get back to you with any kind of answers then I will gladly do so thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next video goodbye Thank <laughs> you.